In order for the camera to know what the proper exposure setting should be, it has to measure how much light is coming into the camera. A metering mode is a specific pattern of measurement used in this calculation. It's an actual shape of the viewfinder. The first and most common shape is the evaluative, which measures light from the entire scene as seen in pink here. The spot mode is different in that it only measures light in the very center part of the viewfinder. You should be asking yourself the question, why is this important? Well, if very bright lights are in the pattern of the metering mode, they will be included into the calculation of the recommended exposure settings. The typical result of this is that midtones will be underexposed. In plain language, this means your pictures are going to be darker when you have very bright lights in your metering zone as in the example of this candle. I took a picture of this candle uh, using the spot metering mode and I made sure the candle was in the metering pattern. Now, if bright lights fall outside of the metering zone, as in the second example, they will be ignored by the camera's metering system and the result will be brighter midtones and slightly blown out highlights. This can be very useful when you're shooting into backlight. The partial metering mode is similar to spot mode, but it measures 9% of the center instead of 3%. And lastly, the center weighted metering mode is a combination of the partial and evaluated metering modes. Now metering modes are confusing for beginning photographers, so please do not get frustrated. Just remember your camera is calculating light based on specific shape patterns, and these patterns, along with the light conditions you are shooting in, will affect the automatic exposure settings of your photographs. What I recommend for beginners is to just stick with the evaluative and spot metering modes because their, their patterns are easy to remember, and uh, they're pretty easy to predict, and they're really easy to adjust. If you found this video helpful, you may be interested in ordering my new DVD, which is Mastering the Canon 40D by yours truly. It has over three hours of these types of lessons, which are aimed at helping beginning and intermediate photographers get the most of their Canon camera. It can be ordered from the following link.